Babies in Ukraine are being born in areas with limited access to life-saving medical care. But Brigham and Women's Hospital is trying to help. As WBZ's Dr. Malcolm Marshall shows us, the hospital is helping to deliver vital medical equipment to Ukraine to help treat women with serious conditions for their newborns. This portable, easy-to-use device could save the lives of hundreds of newborns in Ukraine. About a thousand mothers give birth in Ukraine every day. Uh, we've received pictures from the field. They're giving birth in bomb shelters and in basements. And you can see how it just glows right on to the surface. This is the Billy Hut, developed by Dr. Donna Brzezinski to treat babies with jaundice. It delivers phototherapy to help the body get rid of excess bilirubin. My efforts really started focusing on creating a device that was as effective as what we have in the NICU, but could be flat-packed and lightweight and delivered to pretty much anywhere in the world. About half of all newborns develop jaundice. One in ten will develop severe jaundice, which can result in brain damage, seizures, and even death if left untreated. There's no time for delay, and that's why you need to have effective equipment. The device delivers as much blue light as possible by wrapping the light around the baby. Average treatment is 12 hours. And that compares to existing portable devices that may take four to six days. So this device, because it covers so much skin surface area, works much, much faster. Little Sparrows Technologies and Brigham and Women's Hospital are behind the Support Ukrainian Newborns or Sun Project, raising money to bring the devices to Ukraine, as well as this tool, the Billy Ruler, developed by Dr. Anne C.C. Lee's lab. To help identify babies that need treatment for jaundice in settings where there just is no lab capacity. Press it on the nose. The color that matches corresponds to a level of jaundice. The Sun Project has already sent 12 Billy Huts to Ukraine and is working to get dozens of Billy Rulers to the area to help babies live a long and healthy life. Dr. Malika Marshall, CBS News, Boston.